I'm out here this morning. It's uh, 48, 49 degrees out. Sitting on the Yankee Gibbs Bridge. Um, something that will soon be a relic because they're going to build a new bridge. And this is going to be shut down for traffic. Uh, and it just kind of reinforces to me why a bike like this is so important uh, for someone like myself. It, it, it just, it's the tool I need to quickly go from you know, 75, 80 miles an hour on the freeway to here in, in the middle of, I mean, really, there's no other way of saying it, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it does it so well. It's so adept at everything I ask of it. Um, really a fantastic machine. I mean, I'm so cold and stiff this morning, and coming down here was, was effortless. I, I don't feel strained or tired at all. You know, people look at this bike and they think it's really big and really heavy. It's not. It's 440 pounds. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that heavy, especially if it's it's set up in a way that the center of gravity is kept low. And on this bike, it is. It feels so much lighter than it even is. Um, it's a good way to start the day. It's a really good way to start the day. I think instead of coffee, everyone should just buy a motorcycle. Seven o'clock in the morning, go for a ride in the dirt. You'll uh, you'll wake up fast. Hey deer. All right, here we go. God, this thing's such a savage. <laughs> Let's do this. Or something like that. If I remember correctly, if my memory serves me right, I think it's right on the other side of this house. Um, right there. I haven't been back here in a while. Last time I came out here was in my Jeep because uh, some guy brought his Ford Focus down here. Very, very stuck. Now, as I recall, there are some really big ruts down here. So they might take some special care to navigate. I'm not sure. It's been a while, but I remember them being like, you know, foot and a half, two foot deep ruts. So you might have to be a little careful. So far, this is proving to be easier than I thought it was going to be. But that's because I'm a much better rider than I used to be. <laughs> so that probably helps. Just being able to pick a line and commit to it. So I'm going to, yeah, we can go up here. Really really overgrown tracks back here. This is fun though. Ooh. And these are the ruts that I was talking about. The big old tire swallowers. And they definitely are tire swallowing ruts. <laughs> oh. You know, I said I didn't want to uh, drop my new bike yet here I am on this shit <laughs> probably shouldn't be here on a bike that I don't want to drop but you can probably see why I'm here that's the American River Canyon to the right of me the question of whether or not a Tuareg can handle some shitty tracks. Well, I suppose the answer to that question is a resounding yes. And it's proving to be decently easy. It's not throwing me around at all. So anyways, I'm getting hot here, so I'm gonna 
Let's stop for just a second. Ugh, trying to keep all these damn branches out of my face because a lot of times they're filled with spider webs. Ooh. Slightly tricky there. How do we want to navigate this? I guess, yeah, okay, right up that. The obvious way. And we'll go down here a little further. Get to where it levels out. Luckily this bike is just a little tractor, man. It really just does everything for you, but still. And I have learned really quickly that we want to uh, stay moving out here. Because there are a shitload of mosquitoes. And they are not, they are not friendly. The shit's super rocky. Pretty sure that's all poison oak, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop and rub it against my body <laughs> to, to find out. <laughs> so. For those wondering whether or not the, the Touareg can go off-road, the answer is yes. Even if you're a noob like me, it can go off-road. This bike is so easy to ride. It really is. But these trails are not easy trails. And he's back there on a DRZ 400. <laughs> and I'm here on this big ass thing. But this thing just gives you a lot of confidence. The suspension is awesome on it for someone at my weight range anyways I'm 100 and we'll just call it 180 pounds Thank you, Aprilia. Thank you. That was right on my helmet, that branch. <laughs> Thank you for designing what is the best bike I have ever ridden, by far.
Oh shoot, did I forget to strap my... <laughs> so I was so busy earlier trying to get away from the mosquitoes. I forgot to strap my helmet. Whoops. Wow. Okay, so that was by far the hardest thing that I've ridden on this bike yet. Um, man, that was good. That was really good. Uh, here comes Kellen now. Um, that was awesome. This thing rips. The suspension is fantastic. Uh, I am hot and sweaty, so now it's time to go home for the shower. What say you, Kellen? What? What say you? Time for a, a, a shower and, and a coffee? Like together? <laughs> I mean, like both of us? No. No, just in general. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you want to invite me, I'm down. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, yeah. Shoot, shoot me a text, you know, slide in my DMs as you do. <laughs> So right now I'm at that nice balance point where I'm not even grabbing the bars, as you can probably see. They're just floating in my hands. That's kind of where you want to be when you're in the dirt. You know, balls of your feet on the pegs. Letting the bike move around underneath you. Looking ahead. Vision nice and high. Really as far as you can go. My vision's already hitting the paved road down there. So now, we're gonna go down to the side of Iowa Hill Road, down the American River Canyon. I like to try to stand up just so I'm prepared to throw my weight back. You can see that's where we're going, by the way, way down there. Um, anyways, and up there, that is Robber's Ravine, and you can see there's a concrete um, structure up there. That is the train tracks running, well, rather, running around the mountain. It actually runs right through my town the town of Colfax. Pretty neat stuff. I'm very lucky to live in the mountains where I do. Look at that just does it does it get any better people oh and look at that look at the view I love where I live <laughs> so here we are now American River that is the old Iowa Hill Bridge used to be used for traffic back in the day. Not anymore, it's now a footbridge. I've always been tempted to take my motorcycle across it, but I don't want to be that guy, so I won't, but here we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. I always do.